Okay, this one is this polymorphism thing is not a design pattern, not a formal design pattern. It's a common way that we develop things. Um, so, sort of, if you have no reason not to do this, it's not a bad way to consider doing it. Doesn't mean you always should, but it's uh, it's generally pretty flexible. Uh, we start off with an interface, um, in this case, animal that has this method speak. Uh, we can have as many methods as we want. Um, and here you can see we're using it. I'm going to ignore that for now. What happened was I, I had some code and I deleted it. I just wanted, I did that in class. I just wanted to recreate that here for posterity's sake. Um, so we start off with the animal and we can make another class, abstract animal. And it's going to implement the interface. Make it abstract. Um, we don't have to do anything with that right now. We can just leave it as is. It's just there in case we need it. And we'll add a cat. And we'll have it extend the abstract animal. And it's going to have to implement the speak method. Um, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the dog. And we'll do the same thing with the horse. I think that'll get things compiling or closer to it. So the problem now is that we don't have a constructor that takes a string. So we can do that. So what we're looking for um, is things that are similar. does the same thing. So that all compiles and we probably want the speak method to do it. Um, so what we're going to say is that the just my bit line the name says and it's a cow so it goes meow. And the dog says woof. And the horse says nay. And we can go ahead and run this. Do I think because I May I deleted some stuff? It's got to re-import some classes for my code to work again. So this, give me a moment. Sorry about this. There we go. Uh, we can see that rebuild all is quite useful. Um, it helps us find all the mistakes. Um, so we'll go back to here and we'll run this meme. So Terry says meow. Um, and Delete all these configurations. So where to? No polymorphism. Man, there we go. Um, so if I say hello, and 
run it. Now we had one argument, so we got a dog. And if we pass in more than one argument, we'll get a horse. So it's doing the appropriate thing. Um, so now that we've got it running, we want to look and see what things are the same. So if we took off our glasses and blurred our eyes sort of thing, whatever, um, you know, you'd see that there's really no difference between these. They all have this variable here, and now the constructor that looks like this. Um, so we're going to take that, and we're going to move it to the abstract animal. Abstract class, protected method. Um, now we can do the if name equals null, for example. So we can do all of our error checking in one place. We can go to horse here and we can get rid of the name and we can make this call super passing an M. And we'll do the same for the dog. Get rid of the variable, get rid of the assignment. To the dog and same for the cat. Problem is here now that the, uh, the name because we made it protect, uh, private in here, it doesn't work, so we can make this protected. And now it can be accessed by the child classes. And we can run it, and we would, if we ran all of those different combinations, we'd still say that they all say the same kind of thing. So this is refactoring. So we've cleaned up the constructor. You can't make the constructor any smaller, and you have to have the constructor. But this speak method is the same, right? Um, so we can take the speak method, and move it up here. I'm going to make this other variable sound. Oh, private. So the sound can't be null, but it can be blank. Maybe it's a silent animal. Um, so now, I'll just make this final so nothing can override it. Um, now we have name make sound. That's cool. Um, we can go to the cat. We will utterly get rid of the speak method. Doesn't exist. Same with the dog. Doesn't exist. Same with the horse. Doesn't exist. Uh, and now we just have to pass in the appropriate sounds. Assign it so the sound is assigned us. Now, when we run it, it'll do the same thing. So, our main program didn't change, it's been the same the whole time. The cat, the dog, and the horse went to under you know, under underwent significant changes. Um, we used to have a method, we had a constructor that did work, now we're just calling super. There is no constructor, all of the methods wound up being in the abstract class. It isn't always possible that all the methods can be in the abstract class, but it's nice. As many as you can move up, that, that's great. Um, and we don't have to make that final. We could say it's not final, and uh, they could be overridden by the, the children if they want. That's quite common. Um, so it's unusual to have a final method here, necessarily, unless you're doing um, the template method pattern, which you'll see later. So this let us put all the all the error checking into the constructor so we're not duplicating it. It happened that the speak method works fine for uh, all of the animals. That's great. If it didn't work fine for one of them, we can just override it. 
Um, we'll lose the name in this case, and we won't have access to the sound either, so we'll just go with hiss instead for now. Um, and change the configuration to pass in no arguments, and then we should get a cat. And now the cat says hiss. Okay, if we decide, no, 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 that isn't the behavior we want for cats, we do want them to be like other animals. We've got that. So we have the flexibility to um, put methods up as high as possible and deal with all of the common validation to remove our code. But if we don't like a particular implementation of something, we can implement it down below, um, which you know, gives us all that flexibility. Um, so again, in the absence of a, any reason not to do this, it's not a bad default thing to do. Um, it's not going to work in every case. It's overkill in a lot of cases, but you know, those are a thing that just come with with um, um, experience. Uh, you'll notice that all the other design patterns do re rely heavily on polymorphism. And remember that polymorphism, it's quite simple. When we are calling this speak, it depends on what animal we actually said new on as to which method gets called, right? So it's always going to go to horse or dog or cat looking for the speak method. If it doesn't find it in here, it looks up an abstract animal. And if it finds it there, it'll call it. If not, it'll look up in its parent all the way up until it finds the method. So this is the foundation for pretty much every other design pattern or every design pattern out there, um, as well as just a whole lot of object-oriented code. Um, this encapsulates uh, you know, all of it. Um, or not all of it, but the basis for all of it.